Ladies and gentlemen, there once was a really beautiful king. He had many names over the years. Burger King, Sneak King, Gluttonous Fatty McFat Fat Fatterson. Horrible abomination. But I'm going to tell you the origin of his story, and I'm going to give him the narrator this voice to make it extra thrilling. Our story begins next to the homeless shelter. There was this homeless man who was kicked out of even the homeless shelter. And so he lived in the dumpster next to Denny's. Um, he went out for a walk and saw this place called Burger King. There was smoke coming out of it. And he figured that the place was so powerful that they were cooking people. They're slaves. When in reality, they were just cooking burgers. But um, I had to say that so Burger King wouldn't sue me. And yeah. And so he went to see what was in the dumpster to see what human meat tasted like. And instead, he found something that would change his life forever. He saw a paper Burger King crown. He placed that crown on his fat, wrinkly head. And he declared out loud, I am the Sneak King! And then a woman threw her stroller at him, telling him to shut up. Even though the baby was inside of it, which is kind of messed up. But anyway, on to the... Continue with the story. Um... He wanted to conquer the Burger King in order to free the people who he thought was being burned in there. Which, again, in order to not be sued, they were not burning people. They were really just burning burgers and they let the smoke out of the chimney. Or are they? Because that's what the Sneak King thought. And so, he broke the window in. Then opened the door very calmly. Walked in. With a wooden, cardboard, Minecraft-looking sword in his hand. And yelled, I am the Sneak King, ruler of this wasteland. And I declare that you must free those burning slaves. The cashier replied, We're going to call the police on you. And the Sneak King cried out, Then war has been declared. And the Sneak King tried to jump over the cash register, but he fell because he was too fat to jump any more than two millimeters. Oh, this was bad for Sneak King. The cashier picked up the cash register and bashed him over the head with it. Then the Sneak King got up and threw the cashier in the milkshake machine. And then he turned it on. Out came entrails. And then, later on, a Sneak King, when he was in jail after this, spoiler alert, wrote a song about it called, My Heart, Your Entrails. <laughs> and, and so, the police came in, shot Sneak King 27 times in the chest, and once in the arm. Just, just letting that out here. And he went to the hospital. And then, he went to court. But... He was ruled innocent by reason of insanity. And so he went to the asylum writing songs about all the people he had killed, which was really one person, Jamal, the cashier, that he put in the milkshake dispenser. And that began the legacy, the legacy that nobody cares about and I totally did not just make up. Now... I believe we've reached a 10 minute mark, so I'm, I'm already able to place ads anywhere I want. No, just kidding. Let's get into the game! Yes. I don't know, I'm the Venture Man. What did you think of this fine origin story? Exactly. Exactly! This voice will be put on the entire time. Now, the person, as the author of the Sneak King biography, I feel it is my duty to record the finale of this <laughs> piece of crap. great game.
bless you. <laughs> he just laughed during a sneeze. Why would you laugh at the sea king? Also, all the ranks, even in the intro, were C's. Bless you. Yes, bless you indeed. Yes, look at this man. Look at this murderous man. Oh, he just pulled a mirror out of his anus. And he looked into it like a pretty man he is. He looks like Jesus Christ. He just littered. So, um, how should we end this? Oh, oh crap. Oh, do just some random bull crap again. I mean, do some random bull crap again. Bless you. Okay, I'm not putting on that voice this whole time. Yes, that is a story of Sneak King. And this is, this game is basically his life before all that happened. We are creating lore for the Burger King. <laughs> I expect money for sponsorship. This isn't even a sponsor. This is just quality content. <laughs> Boop. You could not take any longer just to press a freaking button. Slowest animations ever. And yet, best game ever. <laughs> Bless you! Veteran man's been sneezing all day, boy. Oh, buddy, old pal, old friend, old pal. I think C is like the highest rank. Okay. Sawmill, challenge 12. It's time to turn up that stealth and really start playing this game. What, you're ending it? Go die! You'll buy all our food, whether you like it or not! You need to find hiding places, and you need to find them within three minutes. I want to play a game. You need to find hiding places, and you need to find them within three minutes. Don't come back until you've hidden your noble self in at least ten of them. And this is even in Saw Mill Challenge. Have you seen the movie Saw? <laughs> All right. Boom! Yeah! Oh yeah! I'm so slow, boy. I just... Oh wait. I don't even have to deliver crap. Just hide and slowly get me That was in the way. Ah! No! My sneaky booty will be discovered! Yes! Let us go take a poop! But make sure, always remember, and I will quote Christopher Schroeder. Don't poop on me, bro. Just don't poop on me, bro. Please. <laughs> it smells. Chris Schroeder, 2017. Wah, 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 wah. He just shrugs. He's like, I don't know what the frick these memes are. What's this? I'm I'm too fat to get in. Wow, Burger King. Even you're gluttonous. I wanna just knock those trees down on one of them. What I thought that was a freaking ninja turtle the way he was dressed. I must hide. I must hide in various places. Yes. Shrug. We have to. This this is probably the most exciting finale ever. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. You know, a game is good when one of your levels is to climb in a box and then climb back out, and do this ten mother freaking times in three minutes. Yeah, with, with like animations ever. Jesus. Burger King. What in God's name were you thinking? If I lose this mission, I'm done. I'm quitting gaming. I'm gonna inject diabetes into my system. That way, I will praise the Burger King and worship all his unholiness. The Dark Lord, Sneak King, shall reign over all. Sneak King is Lord! Sneak King sounds like Satan, and there's five people in this game, almost, 
And that's why Sneak King is Satan. Confirmed! I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna cut here. Okay, we're back. Yes, I got a phone call and I failed the challenge. But I shall try again. Because I will be gosh dorned if I lose in the finale from a level like that. Also, I, it, I wasn't clear on what I was supposed to do the first time that it happened. I didn't. I in ten places within five minutes. I know, minutes. but I thought it had to be a delivery, too. I have to turn all the way around just to press a button. Think of that. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, what? Oh my god. This is the best game of all time. <laughs> Steven? Yes, I, I think this game might suck, but. Wah 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 indeed, sir. Is this it? Yup. We're doing it. We're in it to win it and never get thin it. Hmm. Yes. Get those massive fat Burger King thighs in there, and then get right out, and feel really stupid. Best game ever. I get to hide for less than a second and then get right back out. Now I'm gonna take a poopy. Nothing better than the game that lets you take a poopy for one second and then leave. And your shadow's outside even though you're inside the pooper box. Freaking... Greatest game. Greatest game. Hey, ma'am. You better screw off. Jacking up my style, girl. Ugh. Man. Getting into boxes. This game is hard. This is like Dark Souls. So games have always been bad. From PS2 to Xbox 360. El Tigre to Sneak King. And God bless America for making a game about freaking burgers and their dark lords. Everyone just dying. I don't have to feed them. That's not my mission. So, therefore, I don't care. Can I go in here, please? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh! I just found the way to the other side! Yeah! Come on. Come on, buddy boy. Come come on, buddy boy. Get in that. Get in the box! What's in the box? It's like a Brad Pitt movie, Seven. What's in the box? Then Burger King pops out. Get in! <laughs> Oh no! McDonald's is better! Like, I want to see a skit of the Burger King where he's just going on a murderous rampage and this one guy is crying and so Burger King like rubs his face like shh, shh, shh. It's okay. I'll give you a second chance. What's your favorite kind of burger? And they say Big Mac! And he's like, you must die! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on! Freaking slowest animation ever! This is impossible! Dark Souls 100! Best game 100! Programming 100! Speed 100! I need to inject speed if I want to enjoy this game! And I'm not going to do that! I just lost... Oh, I guess I win no matter what. Was that sadness or just flat out confusion? It looks like confusion.
I had sadness. I. You know, how about we just stop it here? Okay, but first, I would like, as an effort to actually make this video funny, I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> oh, this is good. I found this website that generates band names with just one word. And so, I decided to use it, but just for song titles. Oh, I don't have internet, and I close the tab. I'm just going to say the ones that I remember that it somehow ended up with. Most of them when I just put the. Okay. The slamming of the puss. <laughs> um, poop snarl. 666 inch priests. <laughs> um, Chris and the angry fetus. <laughs> um, poop karate. Limited PP and the presidential finish. I think, I think that's my favorite one. Um, dying poop and the... No, wait. Dying poop of the Confederate currency. <laughs> and slam slugs from out of space, which I know that website stole because I know there is an album called Slam Slug from Outer Space. Which has great song titles. And now I will read you song titles that actually exist. Okay. This is crazy. That these actually exist. Alright. Where is it? Craziest song titles. The Stench of Anal Puss. <laughs> Dark Lord Ochinchin. Wieners Out for Harambe. Lightsaber Earhole F. A Cheap Circumcision is Ripoff. Engorged to Bursting Point by Futanari Smegma. If you don't know what a Futanari is, it's a woman with a wiener. If you don't know what Smegma is, I suggest not looking it up. The Feminine Boy Excalibur. Hitler was a sensitive man. Anal Gladden's Magic Slut. And I Crap HIV. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's messed up? Every single one of those was death metal bands. Which is saying a lot about death metal. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I sure didn't. Bye!
this hell. Okay. 